Alright, if you're familiar with the commentary community, you probably already know who Playmate Tessie is. You know, she's the girl who made fun of a person for having cancer. Do you have cancer? Oh my fucking god, do you have fucking cancer? You are such a loser, you're wearing a wig cause you're bald, huh? She made an alinity and free with her cat. Oh my god, please don't, please don't. Her foot's on my... <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but her foot was like... She also filed a false police report against her dad. If I have no internet, he is saying that if I don't leave that I will be like, he, he, he is threatening to hurt me and he's coming back in an hour and I have to leave immediately or he will harm me. She even got kicked out of her dad's house. This got so bad that she was terminated both on Twitch and on YouTube. She then made a new account, which is indeed against the community guidelines. However, I thought that this couldn't get even worse, but I was just fucking wrong. Cause as we speak, she has made an appearance on Dr. Phil. I never thought I would say that, an entitled streamer going on Dr. Phil. 2021 is great, isn't it? Imagine being this hungry for clouds. That you go to talk to Phil to get some clout because of your platforms being terminated. Now that's a new low. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. I am famous for being beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, and talented. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's just stop it there. You are either of those. You're not talented, you're not beautiful, and you're not famous. Let's just say you are a 1 out of 10, alright? I'd rather smash a tree. I mean, fella looks like Emma Ross from Jesse. And your content is literally no effort whatsoever. Like, in all reality, the only thing you do is just sleep, right? There is no text to speech or anything to wake you up. It's just you fucking sleeping. Long story short, your content is shit. There is literally no argument on that. So yeah, you are 1 out of 10 both appearance and content wise. She's just trying to seek insta fame, you know, through social media, trying to go viral. Talent! I'm live 24-7. One night I fell asleep during my live stream. My dad decided that it would be a good idea to yell at my sister, completely stealing my spotlight god damn how dare you stealing the spotlight you are the worst dad ever i mean you're falling asleep in multiple streams and the only thing you really do is just sleep it. and the only thing you really care about is the spotlight you don't care about your fans you don't care about your family you just care about the fucking fame the fact that you have a donation goal for a pink lamborghini shows how spoiled you actually is like, what in the actual fuck, dude? At least get something useful instead of a pink Lamborghini. When I tell you to do something, I'm still the boss of you! Am I not? I literally woke up and people were just making fun of me. We make fun of you because of the way you are, alright? That's just how it is. You post something pretty fucking dumb, then expect criticism or people making fun of it. It's the internet. It is what it is. Don't act like you're shocked, because you shouldn't be. Like it's basically just common sense in all reality. Like in all reality, did you really think you could do some shady stuff like calling out a cancer patient, or throw around with your cat and make a false police report against your dad, which is indeed illegal, and don't expect criticism? Like if you think that, you are absolutely goddamn wrong. I was coming unglued. She called the police and live streamed that 911 call. I'm like seriously in fear for my life. He's threatening to kill me, he's threatening all this stuff, and it's like, I'm, I'm really scared. Your crimes and personality is more fake than goddamn Pokemon's laughs. He never even threatened you or anything like that. He just told you you could move out, alright? You're literally slandering your own goddamn dad. Like you're trying to get your dad fired from his job, right? Now that's basically just defamation. You're pulling out some allegations against him that can pretty much, you know, uh, destroy his goddamn job, right? And I believe that's a crime. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, defamation noodles. I got your goddamn girlfriend. That is your new girlfriend, alright? Defamation doodles and defamation tassie, right? They are a perfect match. 
Defamation doodles can tickle his own fucking doodle. I noticed that she was still live streaming from the hotel room that she went to that evening. She eventually did get on the phone with me. You are a narcissistic drama queen, okay? You are. My dad was just totally lying about me to embarrass me. He even said I was dead to him. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. And I meant it then and I mean it now. I would disown my daughter as well if that shit happened, alright? If I raised her right and then she turns out to become this giant fucking monster, man, I would disown her. I would throw her to goddamn Antarctica so she can just survive with the penguins, alright? The one lying here is pretty much you. You're embarrassing yourself. Your dad isn't embarrassing. He's just disappointed at you. I would be disappointed at my daughter too if this shit happened. Like when you think about it, right, you know, that fella did the best to raise you, right? That fella did the best to put so much care and love into treating you well. And this is the fucking thank you you give him. Till this day, I have not contacted my dad whatsoever. He's just a jealous hater. No. That's not how it works. I'm pretty sure your dad isn't even jealous at you, alright? I'm pretty sure he's just disappointed at you. Nor am I jealous. Like in reality, who are even jealous at you? Like you're one of the most hated content creators on the entire internet. Who are fucking jealous at that? You know, I, I just don't get that logic, to be honest. One day, I was just doing my thing being famous and I decided to just troll. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed. I was live the entire time. Yeah, making fun of someone with cancer is trolling. You were not even trolling, alright? It's not even fucking funny. You are making fun of someone who is literally dealing with something they can't control. Like, I'm all for the jokes, as long as it's something, like, you can control. Like, like if you post cringe and stuff like that, right? That's something you choose to. That's something you decided to have. But no one decided that they want cancer. No one just decided that. That's the reality of it. I thought everything I said was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Think that's funny, then this is a joke. You are attention-seeking whore. If you call that jokes in your opinion, something is just fucking wrong with you. I know, humor is subjective, but I'm pretty sure no one found that funny. Despite what you jealous haters think, like, I have morals. I would never attack anybody who's like a minor, visibly disabled. Well, that's what you just did. Am I jealous? Alright, let's just be fucking real here. Bitch, I have 300 times more subs than you. I gained 3 times more subs than you daily. And I gained 20 times more views than you daily. And probably have more than a thousand times more total views than you. Am I jealous? Fuck no, man. Do you think you are an absolute moron? Heck yeah. I am sorry. Yes. I'm apologizing because like... I really feel bad. I feel like it was a pretty good apology. I totally agree. It's as good as goddamn EDP445's or Mini Lads apology. In other words, it's complete garbage. Like, you didn't even fucking do it right. Like, you didn't even try to make it at least believable. I really want Dr. Phil to clear my name because I really didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone else disagree with you. You did a whole lot of fucking wrong ass things. And you gotta get those consequences. Alright, so I'm gonna be ending the video right here. I'll do a follow up when I come home. I'm not home at the moment when this video is going out. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful, amazing day. See you in the next video. Peace out. Love ya.